Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Taurus and Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly tarot and Lenormand reading for uh, October 8th to October 14th, 2018. And while I'm shuffling the cards guys, I want to remind you that uh, this is a, a just a general reading for Taurus' star signs and this is not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, in this video I will uh, explain you the meanings of the cards, I will explain you their synergy, but uh, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you as drawing cards for a specific situation of yours, then this is a subject of a uh, personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there we're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So, um, one more thing to be said is that uh, the October monthly videos are out and if you want to feel free to check them out on my uh, YouTube channel where you're watching this video and uh, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more specifically about career and relationship for your star sign there is a extended monthly tarot reading that can be purchased just for $1.49 uh, from my website and there we focus specifically upon career and relationship regarding the representative star sign so that being said, going to the tarot reading first, let's see uh, the first position here is about the topic of your week, Taurus is the, four, the, the second position is about the core of the situation, third position that will be the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last position that will be the guidance the tarot has for you. So let's see what you got here. Now, okay, we're starting promising with the full card, which uh, kind of speaks that this week is going to be, first of all, I would say, a week of freedom. Because the full card, at the very least, points that um, <clears throat> all the interactions that you're going to have with other beings, you know, co-workers, social friends, etc., etc., are going to be quite Kandorian. I I actually, these kind of interactions will be very pure, sincere, and somewhat lighthearted which means that there won't be any strings behind it, there won't be any uh, surreptitious intentions, there won't be any uh, kind of like a premeditated um you know, uh, undertakings and etc, etc. The Fool also as a topic, remember this is a, a topic, these are the general energies that you can go by with, but you may decide to go against them if you want to. However, if you go by those kind of energies, it does look like that you will have an opportunity to involve yourself or to contribute, you know, into deeds, activities and undertakings, which you have a little clue about. So that itself Taurus is presents you with the opportunity to learn and to expand and to grow especially if we're talking about career and in many cases um, that growth could happen by you being uh, mentoring uh, being mentored excuse me from a, someone quite experienced in that specific activity that you are involving yourself that you do have a little clue about you're um, acting that way uh, sincerely, you know, um, with a great amount of candor and being lighthearted is going to charge everybody around you with a very positive energy and also is going to somewhat boost the belief, the, the, the clamor, not the belief, but the clamor and the, expecta the, uh, the clamorous expectations of those around you. So in other words, you are going to lift yourself in the eyes of others as a, as a very faithful companion. Very important when we talk about interactions as well here is that you don't have any biased expectations regarding what will happen and what will follow. <clears throat> and one more thing I wanted to say about the full, oh yeah, the full card may also signify uh, a birth of a child or a pregnancy as it is the card of the new beginning. So uh, ladies, that is a good week for you to try it out if you want to be pregnant and of course if you don't have any medical issues you know uh, any any medical predicaments regarding it or you know any opportunity like a partner 
So the next one is going to be the prerequisite, the core of the situation, and that is the little brother of the four, the uh, <clears throat> the page of wands. So it does look like this card only strengthens the four, uh, which points that these energies are going to create the. Um, I don't know how to express myself in English about that, guys, and I'm sorry. I, I do apologize about my stutter here and there because I'm trying to find a word, but it's kind of like a uh, thriving en environment for you to experience the newness that the life throws at you. Because the page points that very surprising and very thrilling events, surprising and simultaneously thrilling events are to happen in your life, um, from which actually you can step on that foundation for growing uh, in, in your career or into your relationship and just to give you a couple of examples you know that could be a new job proposition here uh, or that could be a, a new uh, love letter that you're going to receive from someone you have least expected and that will kind of make you feel warm and fuzzy within and uh, in general it will create a, a, a large amount of, of, of happiness and, and um, an emotional fulfillment within you. Now on the on the dark side of the page of wands, uh, this card feels very miserable when it is constrained by rules. So uh, it, it depends what kind of a situation you are. You know, you may find it very difficult to manifest yourself through the full card where you are acting spontaneous, you know, sincere, etc., etc., because you may have certain restrictions either from the code of conduct <clears throat> of the company that you're working at, the um, the established rules into one relationship etc etc and what this is going to do here is that may put you in a state of aggravation it may put you in a very agitated standpoint uh, in which there will be no one that kind of like um, now that, that kind of benefits from it so again it will be very important to be light-hearted with these people I mean you shouldn't take everything personal and as I said most likely it is the code of conduct that restricts you and not a certain people in there so you should not kind of keep a um, ill feelings for them but instead of you know attacking straight away because the fool is very spontaneous as well you know in the page so you may kind of give yourself to the uh, very uh, moment uh, momental emotions here instead of doing so it will be beneficial for you you know to say okay I understand you know but, but, but can't we do something about it I mean there should be a way should one search for a way a way will be found therefore you know I'm, I'm kind of like a, I'm convinced here with having these couple of cards that not through the bending of the rules of your relationship or your career but more like of a, a very open deliberation uh, a, a way can be found for you to kind of satisfy your needs and the needs of those who needs to follow the code of conduct the next card is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and now we do have that will be the ten of pentacles a, a huge contradictory to the full card here is what we do have this card is, is saying is that it will be very hard for you to focus upon a specific goal and upon a, 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 a specific task and uh, it's kind of understandable because look at this guys I mean these cards heavily support one another the full and the and the page and they are both about freedom so you're going to experience a, a huge amount of freedom and if you are a child for example I would say that you are such a child that wants to try literally everything in their life therefore uh, when child has a much thing to try out the child does not kind of stop for a moment into one specific thing it it is no different than when a baby has a like a bunch of toys around them I mean they don't play with just one toy they want to try every single toy around them and this will be your state here there is nothing wrong with it it is just the appearance of the ten of pentacles points that you can really pull out a huge dividend if you find the time to focus on a specific task which is either lucrative or which is either a with a potential for creating a long-lasting stability so you need to have the mindset to recognize such a task and undertaking and as with every routine there will be as well tasks which are a waste of time so that will be the issue that will be the uh, the, the predicament here to recognize chores from um, 
from productive undertakings. And the last card that we do have is going to be uh, the the Eight of Pentacles, which is the guidance that you should follow. And this card says only one thing, do not get ahead of yourself. It is just, it is not advisable. Most likely because after this week, as soon as you know the thrill and the excitement of being free, of being uh, spontaneous, you know, and having the opportunity to try many things and to experience many things, you will again get back to normal state where you will have to focus on one thing and thing at the time. Therefore, um, you should not, again, get ahead of yourself, but you should start executing it with a little bit more patience, you know, patience, you know, with, with a little bit more methodical approach, because the Fool and the Page of Wands, is, it, they have a very scattered approach, just like I uh, explained which is good of finding a new agenda and a new goal, but it is not very potent when it comes to following that agenda and that goal. Therefore, it will be beneficial for you guys to um, simply as soon as you find your thing here, it's to create a plan and start executing that plan according to the plan's necessities. So uh, that was the weekly tarot reading for um, Tauruses for the October 8th to October 14th and now we are going to the Lenormand reading here now what the Lenormand cards are going to show us guys the, this is a uh, event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid now let, let's uh, cut the cards and let's see what you got here now the first one that will be the coffin which stands for ending stop competition Next one that is going to be uh, the um, the clouds, which stands for vagueness, confusion. They stand as well for what else? For what else? Lo losing a path, not deception, but more like you know, not being able to um, assess the situation accurately. And the last one that is going to be the gentleman, which literally stands for man. It in some cases could stand for maturity as well. Under maturity, I don't mean motherhood. I mean one being mature. So what we do have, I will read the cards like this, one, two, three, because this will make more sense in English. And this is a... Um, a confusing or a vague situation regarding a man in your life is going to be put to an end. So either you are going to make a decision regarding them, which is going to be a final decision, or they are going to make a final decision regarding you. Um, that could be your boss making final decision over your project. That could be the suits or that you're chasing making a final decision. Should they be investing or not investing with... Um, with your relationship or it could be vice versa you know that you are making final decision about this person uh, should you invest or should you not invest etc etc what the point here is is that this will be an event where the vagueness upon the situation with a certain person is put to an end with certain events or with a certain decision because that could be as well a court case with your husband here because this is a man this is why i'm saying a husband uh, where you are leading let's say a custody uh, a custody rights trail and this week it is likely that this custody uh, this trial that you're going through court is going to be put into light so pretty much you will know where the things are going to work so that being said Tauruses this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for October 8th to October 14th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and um, <clears throat> again I have uh, explained it here uh, the meanings of the cards and their synergy but this is just a, a general reading for Taurus star sign this is not your personal reading therefore uh, it falls to you to make sense of those cards and their synergy and to align them to your personal situation now if you want the reading specifically aligned for your personal situation then that is a matter of a personal reading and for such please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.